okay but a does not contain anything it's like for example you want to say for example I can buy a car but for now I don't have a car okay N if you are using a structure and you write for example dimension a as uh, uh, person info and person information is a structure in that case this will work differently uh, a in, in the in the new case will be different it will it will actually have all all the the variables it will have all the required memory resources to it now to solve this issue you can do this you write a new contact information okay so this means this means that a is of type contact information and the computer will create uh, <coughs> required uh, sorry the required resources to store contact information and make a point to it now if you're on the application click here it will work without a problem okay now I'm gonna modify this a little bit and it will have exactly the same effect a equal a new contact information okay so here I am creating a variable and this variable is not pointing to anything okay uh, we don't have a real contact information to deal with it just that uh, it just means that a can store contact information and then here we are creating a new contact information and making a point to it okay now and then we will fold the information okay <coughs> so this is the first thing to do okay so as you can see for now it's working perfectly fine now let's go back to our class and improve it a little bit when we want to fold the information usually we we do it like this we are following the name and then we are following the address and following the telephone and so on we don't want to do that uh, we are gonna make it in a, a different way we are gonna create a subroutine that will allow us to fill the information right away so what we will do is public set contact info sorry public sub A string and M E A D uh, A D D R as a string and T E L uh, t telephone sorry telephone a string okay so this will be a subroutine to store the contact information enter okay we are passing all these variables and these should be stored so what we do is the following you write name dot uh, sorry uh, name equals nme okay and address equal addr and tel equal telephone okay what this means when you pass these var values in the parameters you can see that the computer knows name is here and knows address is here and knows tel tel is here okay all the variables inside the class are accessible by the subroutines and functions in that class okay and uh, it doesn't matter if they are public or private they are all accessible as long as the code is in the class okay now we will go back to the code of the window and we will change it so instead we are going to do the following we write a dot and you can see here set contact information is available now so we are passing smith and then uh, uk and the phone number as easy as that okay and if we want to run the code you run it like this and it works fine probably we should uh, trace the code uh, or display a message box a dot name 
a dot uh, uh, address a dot uh, tl something like that sorry msg box this is the second one and the last one msg box a dot telephone now let's run the code press this one you can see smith uk one two three four five six no problem okay now we can create two contact informations okay so dimension b as a new contact contact information so now we have a and b now we are gonna set the second one michael us okay and here we have uh, the contact information for the second person so we're displaying the name of the first one the contact information of the second one b dot name sorry msg box uh, b dot address and msg box b dot tel okay so as you can see with this one line i am filling all the contact information with this one online i am filling all the contact information so in the end the way i am using my class makes it easier for me to understand the code so when i see this code and i read it a is a contact information so i can remember that okay a will store the name the address the telephone number for a person and when i say a dot set contact information it means set the contact information for a and this one set the contact information for b okay and then i am displaying the information it's uh, easier for me than the previous way i used to do things where i have to create a structure and create a function that uh, that receives the structure as a parameter and it should modify it and stuff like that so uh, classes are much easier in this regard okay so now when i press this one you can see this is the first person and this is the second person okay so it's very easy now uh, what we are gonna do we are gonna um, extend this this thing and the modify set contact information uh, or let's say add another method uh, and make our code easier to work with okay but we will do some extra coding first we are gonna create a dialog to read the information the name the country and uh, sorry the name the address and the telephone number so right click here and select add and select uh, windows form and when this window appears select the dialog and uh, let's call it contact info read contact info dialog and select add now you can see this dialog appears okay so here read contact information okay these are the contact information and what I am gonna do here is place three labels okay these are three labels and they place three text boxes where are the text box uh, this is a text box one and two and three so this will be the name okay this will be the address and the last one will be the telephone okay so this is the first one second third Okay, let me just align these, make them okay. Um, yeah, 
maybe I should have used Chrome box to put them all together this uh, that would have made them look better anyway so you can see here 